everyone, this is Marnell and Alex Lee, our winemaker, coming to you from the clubhouse at Keepersall. Today, we're talking about rosés. Absolutely, and we have two of them that we're going to be specifically talking about. One of them is our classic rosé and then a special version called Rosé Reserve. Now, with these two wines, they're very uh, much undefined in the world of wine. I think they're one of the least or one of the ones that we have the most opportunity to have the influence on the world of wine. But typically you're looking for something that is a bit higher in acidity, especially in our case, that's going to fit the case. And if you are typically a red wine drinker in Texas it, in the summertime, it gets 104 degrees, you're not going to want to reach for that glass of red wine. You want something a little bit cooler nice. and a little bit crisper. Something like the rosé is an easy choice for that. You're going to have a lot of both in color and in style, similarities between red and white wine. You're gonna have a lot of the experience of a white wine, crisp acidity, really nice and light, usually chilled, but you're gonna have a little bit more of the fruit flavors that you'll typically get out of a red wine. I think like, uh, especially on the red fruit spectrum, like raspberries and strawberries. And what about yeah. sweetness? On the sweetness levels for these two specifically, they're going to be on the lower end. Now, for the Rosé Reserve, we did have a little bit of a sweetness to it, and that's a very unique creation for us. So our Rosé Reserve here, we call it Reserve because it's particularly special, especially how we make it. So we take our classic Rosé here and we soften it. It goes through a process called malolactic fermentation, where you take one of the crisper acidities and then you soften it up. Many of y'all have heard of like buttery Chardonnays. Same kind of concept went through with the Rosé Reserve there. And then we put some oak with it. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. A little bit to add, a little bit of kind of a vanilla type flavor to it. Just enough to add a little bit of an extra dimension to it. And then finally, we make sure that it has a little bit of sugar in there. We're talking off dry level, so only about 2%. So that it is a really pleasant experience all the way. And it was a really weird one to put together uh, when down in the winery, because we uh, heard it was just very, popular up at our tasting room but uh when it's talking to me it's like really people actually you like, this is a wine for people but apparently it has been. you know this wine is so super complex and when we say complex complex means that every time you approach that wine there's a new layer of flavor so flavor meaning the smell that you get from the wine um, the body and the mouthfeel if you're a chardonnay drinker it hits it right on the money so for a super complex Chardonnay style. Uh, this is all black Spanish grapes. Um, but if you don't let the color fool you, if you are a Chardonnay drinker, do try this wine. It is fantastic. It is so complex, crisp, clean, and delicious, as well as our mm -hmm. non-reserve rosé. If you want a more a cleaner experience, a simpler experience, the regular rosé, the classic rosé is definitely for you. So for those shard drinkers in our world, um, if you want to venture over to something uh, with a little bit more color, we'd love for you to try the Keepersall Rosé series.